Hey guys, so um, today I'm coming out with you with another um, my home fragrance of what I've been using, my Scentsy Empties. So um, I finally got like a tote to put my empties in, so that's kind of cool. And Ellie is very invested in the tote. <laughs> She's like, what's in there? Is it food? Um, so this is everything that I've been using probably over the last two and a half weeks or so. Um, you know, I, I don't go through much within a weekly basis, but we have a lot of bars to talk about. Actually, it is mostly bars. Only thing that's not a bar, um, the Scentsy Hand Soap. So this was the Maple Apple Bourbon Hand Soap. Oh my gosh, stop. This was the Maple Apple Bourbon Hand Soap. It came out with the uh, Harvest Collection in September of last year. I mean, I don't think I used it, like I saved it for Christmas time because it um, it has it had like pine trees on it. So it gave me more Christmas vibes than fall vibes. I mean, it could have been used for anything. Like it's it's a good fall and winter scent, like good, like all, like for both seasons. So, um, but we just finished using it maybe a couple of weeks ago and I had it in the kitchen. So um, hand soap lasted a long time, <laughs> but uh, that, that's good to know. Um, another thing that's not a bar is uh, I have the blueberry cheesecake um, car bar. Girl. Oh my gosh, she's a mess. Um, I had the blueberry cheesecake car bar. Um, these last typically about a month. Um, and I I did I like to change them out every month or so. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that away. I just wanted to let you know what I was using. And then we have a ton of bars, probably about 10, if I'm honest. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get them out one by one and talk to you about them. All right, All right, and then I'm going to put my trusty basket over here where it was. All right, so, um, oh, what do I want to talk about first? I don't have any particular order. Okay, so. <clears throat> This is a good one because it's really not my favorite. Feeling Punchy. This one was in the uh, summer collection, or it's still available, but um, I don't know. It's like I got a bar of it, made a ton of samples of it to sample it out, and then I had like four cubes left, and I kind of just used it as like a bathroom scent. However, like I don't care for it because I don't really like citrus. It's like a super citrusy, orangey fruit punch to me. That's what it smells like. It's called feeling punchy. Um, yeah, however, it was extremely strong, very long lasting. Even when I went to change out, we change out our wax typically like once a week. <clears throat> and um like I could still smell it when I was changing out the wax. I mean, I still change it out because I'm a consultant and I have a ton of wax, but like, oh my gosh, like I, I don't care for it, but it kind of did make a good bathroom scent. Bathroom, obviously uh, in bathrooms, you do have odor and whatnot. So having like a, a good, like strong fragrance in there was nice. Um, I don't really care for this, but those who like citrus would probably like this one. I'm actually going to put this, I'm going to toss these back into my basket because I recycle these. Um, and then we had Feeling Punchy. And I did the same exact thing with this one. This one is not my favorite, although I do like it more than Feeling Punchy. Um, the, oh, this is Peachy and Palm Trees. Um, this is peachy and palm trees, and I'm just not big on peach smells, but I think it has, like, it has, like, undertones of, like, maybe coconut, I mean, palm trees, yeah, like, coconut and or, like, a floral note, so I did like it, but it's just not my favorite, so, um, I did the same thing with this one. I used it as a bathroom scent for a couple weeks, um, I sampled out most of the uh, cubes and then I made it like a bathroom scent. 
yeah it's not bad it's just not my favorite at all <laughs> um not club worthy to me some people may love it but yeah it's peachy and palm trees um oh, okay i could definitely talk about this one sugared strawberry so um <laughs> you may realize i'm not big on like fruity scents at all especially like in my personal opinion, like some people absolutely love this scent, but in my opinion, it smells very artificial. It doesn't smell like a true strawberry scent. Um, I've been told that Coastal Strawberry, which was available like a while back, a long time ago before I joined, um, I think that one was a more true strawberry smell. But I think that the sugar or like the sweetness added to this, like just it's not that great to me, like by itself. You're probably thinking, well, why did you warm it if you don't like it? I mixed it with um, uh, vanilla bean buttercream. So somebody had posted two cubes of vanilla bean and two cubes of uh, sugared strawberry. To me, it was too heavy on the strawberry. This scent is very strong. So I did three cubes of vanilla uh, bean buttercream and one cube of sugar strawberry it was perfect that was the perfect mixology if you will um for um you know for mixing the scents and I put that um in our kitchen and it I thought it was really nice for like a, a whole week um in terms of vanilla bean buttercream <coughs> it's just a very sweet vanilla um it, it definitely does smell like uh, like a vanilla buttercream, which like I personally, I'm kind of basic with like cake or baked goods. Um, I like like a vanilla cake or white cake with vanilla buttercream. Um, so it definitely gives me those vibes and I love it. So um, this was a really good mix, these two. Love them. Um, Let's see. I'm going to talk about my favorites last probably. So I'm going to get those together and all right so now we're going to do like an order um, okay so all right so first um enchanted mist we're currently warming this in our bedroom and it's like, I said this on my last video where I talked about bring back my bar. To me, it's like, <laughs> I called it like the fancy soap smell. Like it it smells like those fancy soaps that you might have in your uh, hotel bathroom or something where it's like, you don't want to pay for it at home, but since it's included in your hotel room, like, and it smells really good, you might take it home or you might use it while you're there. Um, it smells just very clean clean kind of linen-y but not like clothesline or anything like that because I don't like clothesline it's kind of perfumey which I like that however um and this was a bring back my bar so it's no longer available um it was only available in June of 2022 but um, I didn't I didn't really like this one uh in terms of performance like I like the smell this would make an amazing like body care line product However, um, it didn't last that long. Um, it lasted maybe like a day or two. And like, I'm still kind of getting through it. Of course, we change our wax out once a week. But yeah, I uh, didn't care for this one in terms of performance. I like the smell of it. It just didn't last that long. So you will have ones like that, like just depending on the oils, what the scent is, like some, some will perform like rock stars and some just won't be that great. So that's just kind of how it goes. I think with like any company that you're getting home fragrance from um, and your nose is different too. Everybody's nose is different. Uh, scents that I think are very strong and like don't bother me or anything like that may be different for other people. Some people don't like citrus. Some people don't like bakery. I think like this is just kind of one of those things with my nose or whatever. Um, it just didn't last that long. It only lasted a couple of days. Um, next is the blue bar from Chasing Rainbows. <clears throat> when I first smelled this, I loved it. Um, it smelled very just like clean to me. 
And then I warmed it and I thought it smelled like laundry detergent. And like, I didn't hate that, but it certainly wasn't my favorite. So this was not a favorite to me. Um, I warmed this in the bedroom. So that was a good place for it. But I don't know. To me, it kind of just smells like fabric softener. Some people absolutely love that. It, it smells kind of like fresh rain or whatever. Um, and I love fresh smells like that, but this was a little too like laundry smelling to me. So that's just my preference. Um, it was a good performer um, in terms of like it lasted the entire week. Like it, it was a strong smell and long lasting. So that was fantastic. Um, but it just wasn't my favorite scent once I warmed it. So, yeah. Next, um, we have Route 66. Um, this is a masculine smell, which I absolutely love those. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I love those. Just smells like a really manly dad cologne. Mm, very musty and uh, musky. Musky. And I don't want, want it to be musty. I want it to be musky. <laughs> Very woodsy. <laughs> I absolutely love this one. However, again, it wasn't a very strong performer. Um, it probably lasted a little longer, but it just wasn't a super strong smell the whole time. Uh, it was kind of like you had to be close to the warmer in order to smell it. So, yeah. Um, a better one would probably be uh, White Amber Antique or Mystery Man. So yeah, but this one is no longer available. It, it was in the Father's Day collection. I don't think it's the one for me anyway. Um, next, we have Banana Nut Bread. This was a Bring Back My Bar last month, and it's been a Bring Back My Bar for a couple of times. Um, or I don't think it was the last month. It might have been on clearance or something. I can't remember. But anyway, I had the bar and I love it. It does smell like straight up banana nut bread baking in the oven, especially when you're warming it. It's a good per performer. I warmed up this in the kitchen and I really enjoyed it. So yeah, this one's really good. I liked banana nut bread. Like I say, I like bakery smells in the kitchen. I don't really like them anywhere else. I don't like them in other parts of the house. Maybe excuse me, maybe in my office, just because that's kind of like my space um, in the house, and I don't really, like, like, that's okay with me, like, if it's just me, but if, like, people are coming over into our space, like, it's hard to be, like, kind of, you know, have, like, more neutral or sense that other people might like, or especially my husband, too. He likes bakery, too, but he's kind of on the, like me, like, I, I like to warm this in the kitchen. Um, next, Mad for Melon. This one is so good. It's kind of a powerhouse. Like, it's um, long-lasting, strong. Not, like, the strongest one ever. Um, but when I was growing up, I really liked, like, cucumber melon smells, honeydew melon. Um, and this one's really, really similar to that. It's really similar to honeydew melon. And it's so good. I've contemplated putting this into my club. Because I just really like it. It's it's really, really good. Mm. We warmed this in the living room and it lasted pretty much the entire week. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a really good one. So Mad for Melon, it's on sale this week. Um, so check that out. It's really, really good. Oh, yes. Kukui and Coconut. I really hope this comes back next year. It's currently still available in the summer collection. Um, but it's just probably my favorite coconut scent that we've come out with. Um, there's been like three or four, but this one has probably been my favorite. Mm. It just smells like, like, it definitely has like a suntan lotion smell to me, but I, I like that. It gives me, I'm not a summer person, but I do like coconut smells. Um, it just makes me think of like being on the beach or at a pool on vacation and it's so good like just straight up coconut with like palm tree type smell I really like it mm. and the packaging is purple which purple is like one of my favorite colors so I really 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 love this one all right and then 
Bonfire Beach. <clears throat> this one is one of my absolute favorites. Um, it's been in my club for over a year. <clears throat> Excuse me. I first smelled this. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Um, I first smelled this right before I joined Cincy. So in March of 2020, um, I I don't want to go too much into this, but I joined Cincy uh, kind of like a month into the pandemic. And um, this was one of the smells that kind of, you know, we were staying at home and kind of got me through everything. So it just smells straight up like a campfire or like a fire burning um, on the beach. Like you get this woodsy smell, but also like a fresh beachy smell at the same time. It's kind of hard to explain, but like almost like a fire roasting smell. And it's, oh, it's incredible. And it also kind of smells like Pirates of the Caribbean uh, at Disney World or Disneyland when you're going through like the fire part where everything's on fire and burning. It smells almost identical to that. It's really, really good. So this is Bonfire Beach, still available this month. It's on clearance, or it's on sale, I should say. Um, so check that out. It's, I believe this one is 10% off. Um, so yeah, I love it. So good. Um, and then lastly, probably one of my absolute favorites is Ariel Under the Sea. And this was like one of the first scents I had smelled when I first started using or buying Scentsy. Um, I remember uh, my friend was selling Scentsy and she came over, she's now my uh, director. And uh, she, she was like, oh, this one is so good, you'll love it. And I smelled it and it's very good. It's like very fresh, but also kind of florally, <laughs> kind of melony too. It's really, really good. Like, like melon and floral and fresh. Like, it's really, really good. Oh, I love it. Um, I have the scent pack of this, and I put it in my um, travel bag. So I'm like, oh, everything I take out of this bag is going to smell like this now. So I'm really, really excited. So good. Excellent. Love this one so much. And it's a pretty good performer, too. Um, I had it in my uh, warmer in my office here, and it lasted pretty much the entire week. Like, it's not a super strong scent, but it is long-lasting, you know, depending on where you have your warmer and stuff. So, yeah, that's everyone under the sea. That was the last of my bars. Um, Tomorrow, we actually leave for the Sensi Incentive trip on the Alaskan cruise, and I'm so, so excited. Thank you so much to my customers and my team for your support and helping me earn this trip. I'm super excited. I can't wait to share pictures and info whenever I get back. I went on the Disney World Incentive trip last year, and it was absolutely amazing, life-changing, so much fun, but um, I just wanted to come on here and show you my empties. Um, thank you guys so much again for your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, guys.